Lights are out green next time by, if I had to guess. I'm going to say they're taking the top six. I haven't heard up here in the scoring booth. Maybe the top four. We'll sort it out afterwards. Keith Welch, lights are out green this time by for Dwarf Cart B main event number one here for the Riverside Rumble. Tip Holcomb will lead us out of corner number two down the back straight away. Xander Morrison second. Alex Amon finds himself into that third spot now as they work out of corner number four. Keith Welch contact with Alex Amon. Working down into corners three and four. Trying to fire off this B main event. I believe 15 laps the distance. We'll work out of corner number four, the green flag. Holcomb slides up the racetrack, rolled out the red carpet for Alex Amon. Amon now quickly to the point here after our start. We'll now look to lead lap number one, the 46 of Amon. Out front showing the way, Morrison second, Schneider third. Keith Welch started tail end of the field. He's quickly back up into that fourth spot. Got a fast hot rod underneath that 88 car. As he'll drive his way, work onto the zero car of Fast Freddy Schneider. Tough break, the seven car of Jared Moss has gone pit side. Battle for third, the orange 88 of Keith Welch. Sneaking up on the inside, he'll work down low. Side by side up to left rear tire. They'll work out a corner number four to the start finish line. Into that third spot now as Keith Welch who once more gets underneath Xander Morrison. Welch now to the second spot. Making a drive back to the front, sets his sights on our race leader, Alex Amon. Every driver using that low line of the racetrack, Schneider hangs up high, loses a spot to Capan. Amon continues to lead Welch, second in that third spot, settles in nicely as Xander Morrison. Keith Welch starting to reel in our race leader. Alex Amon gonna start feeling some pressure from that 88 of Keith Welch. Work down the back straight away, down into corners three and four. Welch settles down now with just a couple car lengths between Amon and Welch. Peyton Darling, car tail to the lead lap. Here comes Keith Welch, he'll go to the outside as well. Follows Alex Amon. Working down into corners three and four, just about nose to tail that time through out of corner number four. Amon will extend that lead a couple of car lengths. Watch Welch, that orange 88 working that little lower side of the racetrack. Caution flag is out, looks like Rick Behrman in the bottom of corner number four. Amon sets the pace. Company right behind Keith Welch lurking in that second spot. Single file on the bottom side of the racetrack. Here comes Welch. He'll swing it to the outside down the back straight away. Everybody settles again on the low side. Alex Amon pushed the nose in corner number four. Here comes Keith Welch. Watch him down. They'll sell off into corners one and two. Welch on the low side. Amon trying to fight him off. Has that momentum on the outside lane. Gets back by the 88 as they run down the back straightaway into corners three and four. Welch drives it in deep, almost to the back bumper of Amon. They'll work out of corner number four. All these drivers trying to race their way into tonight's A feature for the Riverside Rumble. Amon now kind of settles in, able to put a couple car lengths between himself and the 88 of Keith Welch. Five laps to go this time by Alex Amon, still in control. Welch is within striking distance. Amon again bobbled over in corner number two, shoved the nose, has allowed Welch to get up just about a car length behind the last two couple times. He's bobbled here in the inside, battle for the lead down the front straightaway. Welch down low, Amon working that outside groove here for your Rocky Mountain Dwarf car, Riverside Rumble, B main number one. Still two car breakaway at the point. 
Welch may have a faster hot rod, but he can't find a way around Alex Amon. Peyton Darling, one lap down. Alex Amon will have to choose which way to go. They both go to the, oh, Keith Welch has to go to the inside now. We'll lose some ground. Settle back in and go back to work, trying to reel in that 46 of Alex Amon. Third is still Xander Morris, and fourth is Capan. Rounding out your top five is fast, Freddie Schneider. Laps winding down this time by Alex Amon's gonna grab the white flag one more time around at B-Main event number one. Top two drivers work the first set of corners. Alex Amon exits corner number two down the back straightaway for the final time. Trying to hold off Keith Welch. Welch will drive it in deep. Both drivers trying to race their way into tonight's Riverside Rumble feature. Alex Amon victorious in B-Main event number one. Keith Welch second. And Xander Morrison rounds out the top three here tonight at B-Main event number one for your dwarf cars.